Good day, comic fam. Comics of the Voice here, and we're doing another episode of Discovering Hidden Gems in my collection. Today we're going to go through box number two of Image, and we'll see what lovely hidden gems I find in there. So it'll be into the B's, C's, D's, E's, because I have this whole thing alphabetical. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's see what we got. Stay tuned. <laughs> Good day, comic fam. Let's go look at image box number two. It's my ongoing series where we're just flipping through and let's explore some of my books from the past here. So let's see what we got going on. Well, not from the past. This is brand new Cobra Commander. This one just came out. Had to get that one because that's just a wicked cover. Yep. Getting some chainsaw action happening on his uh, mask with Ripper there. And, yep, yeah, Zartana is going to go to work on him with uh, some saws and stuff. Turns out Cobra Commander is one tough bastard, eh? From Cobra la 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 la. Cobra la 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 la. Uh, what's next? Chew. Chew, chew, chew. Looks like I need to get some tape on that one. That was a good one. I think I paid two bucks for that one. That got, that got hot for a couple of minutes. Let's see what else I got in here. Compass. Compass, yeah. This was okay. Nothing major to write home about. Can't remember what it was about, of course. You know. I'm trying to remember all these series. This is why I go back and I explore. Because I've got a good memory. It's just really short. Oh, here's some ones that I got to pull too for upcoming Fan Expo. I got some Scott Snyder stuff in here. These books were awesome. I so enjoyed the Creep Show. So I had to get the variant cover for that one. That one's just wicked. Another cool variant cover. There was a one of these issues was done by Scott Snyder. I think it was in Volume Two. Was it in Volume One? Witch coming out of the treasure chest underwater uh, yeah bunch of heads and the spinner rack yeah I think it's in the yeah, I got a whole bunch of versions of them yeah that was a Christmas I think that was a Christmas one shot I don't know about that one. Got a bunch of different writers on these. Dan Matters. But I know Snyder did one of these somewhere. This is the volume two of it. Don't see his name on there though. Joe Hill. Michael Walsh. Oh, Michael Walsh did this one. I'll have to get him to sign that one. I think maybe that's what I was thinking of the creep show. It was Michael Walsh. So he did the work on that one. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Crave action. Yep, I got two issues of that and then I passed. This one I just picked up for two bucks. I got to find the original for it because it's a really good series. Enjoyed this one. All right, some Donnie Cates and crossover went all crazy on this one and I got some multiple covers of that one yeah that was a one and something it's a ratio variant other ratio variants different uh, artists that did the different covers I thought it was an okay series got the spawn you know, Donnie Cates was doing some really good stuff until his accident, and now he's just kind of dropped off the radar. Haven't seen hide nor hair or nothing of him in some time now. Because I was hoping he was going to be at one of the fan expos so I could get his signature on my Venom number three, first appearance of Null. But Ryan Stegman was there, 
and not Johnny Kate. So I wanted to get the two together. Oh yeah, Chip Zdarsky. And he crossed out his name at the top. Yeah, this was just a fun series. I enjoyed it. Okay, it's falling. That's a good one. Big giant ass swords. I was thinking about uh, Michael Cthulhu who builds these big giant swords and thought, wow, that would be a good one for him to make. One from a comic book. Dark Engine. This is something that I just found in the $2 bins. Some old school image from back in the day. Jim Lee cover. Rob Liefeld, darker image. Uh, Deadly Class. Oh yeah, Deadly Class. This was a good series on TV. I met Wes Craig and you can see I've got a signature on this one. And I didn't get a picture of him actually signing the book, but I just took a picture of him randomly as I was walking back through because I was new to getting all these pictures of all of the artists signing my books. So I went through, this one's ended, so I've just slowly been, and I didn't, I didn't, I only paid two bucks for all these books. Like these were all from my guy, Matt, who does his captive audience Friday, uh, $2 claim sales. And somebody had a run of this stuff and I just, you know, slowly grabbing it as I find it. That's why we have lists, people. I go through my lists, I sit there, find out where I left off, and carry on, just like I did with Paper Girls. I'm almost done that one now. I only have four books left to go, and I'll be finished. So this one here, every time I find other little runs, I go to town. Oh, Dead Romans. Yeah, I got the entire team signed this one. So Fred Kennedy, he's a personality in Toronto, Q107 and him along with uh, Nick and a bunch of others did this book so they were all at Fan Expo so I got everybody to sign and I got them all to sign every single issue not just one the, even the editor was there I had her sign too and I got my pictures on the back so that was a fun time they almost lost me after the first issue but they really picked up right so lots of photos had a great chat with them i was standing there with uh, mark andrews and the two of us were having a great conversation so it's a six or seven issue limited series you can put the pictures in that one yeah put the pictures in that one yeah six issue limited series and i got every single book signed so that was awesome Oh yeah, Deep Beyond. That was cool. I didn't mind that. Another one of those otherworldly apocalyptic series. And again, just a short run too. So I mean, not big commitments. So some good artwork, decent story. Like look at that, like aliens type thing. Can't remember the premise, they went down to some submarine underwater. Destiny's Gate. And we got a couple of those ones, and then I dropped off that. And I think I got some free covers for that. This is a free cover, Dry County crap story. Just absolutely waste. But for free, who cares? Duke. My G.I. Joe series, so that's brand spanking new. Gotta love me some G.I. Joe. I like how they're branching off of all the characters. They got Destro going on right now. I'm sure they'll do uh, the Baroness. Dutch. Not what I thought was Duke, but it was Dutch. Uh, Eclipse. Yeah. Another interesting story. Apocalyptic. I think, some, I think one of these guys was going to be at Fan Expo too. I wasn't sure. I'll have to look that up. See if that Zack guy is going to be there or... One of the artists, I'm not sure. And I got a lot of multiples of this one because I found some free books and some $2 books. And yeah, that's okay. Oh, another classic one. Everybody went apeshit for this one. Such a great story. Heard it was optioned. A billion genies. Right. 
So I, I, I do have a Jenny Frizen in a 9.8 of issue one. It's the B cover, it's the one I was missing. I don't have anything else slabbed, it's all just raw books, but I went in hard on this one, just getting variants when I could because it was just a fun series and then it you know took off multiple printings and seven and then eight and then the last one empty zone yeah this was more of my two dollar bin finds it's kind of a mad max type of book enjoyed it you know, I found the the covers were interesting, so I took a chance on it. You know, and then I can look up on my comic shop and see if I can find out some info on you know the, the story and everything, and if I like the story. But a lot of times it's just cover buys for me. I'm looking at the covers; I think they're wicked looking, so I grab them and I take a chance on the story. Well, yeah, so there's quite a bit of good stuff in in my image box too. We're starting to make some progress getting into some really cool books now so that is image box number two so that means i'll go to marvel 2 and then i'll go to i think in independent or boom or something and then dc i'm just kind of rotating around so but we'll see you guys on the next one so i hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you take care